sure is beautiful here in Houston, ain't it? What is up, guys? Welcome to the video. Man, that response on the last video, crazy. Thank you to everybody that left a comment about my Range Rover. If you don't remember, in the previous episode, we ran into a problem. My Range took a few shots to the groin on the way to Houston. Needless to say, our pride, our manhood is hurt and swollen. Some people suggested I sue the company. And to be honest, who's got time for that? Some people said I should file an insurance claim, but my deductible is like $1,000 and I think it's less than $1,000 worth of damage. So we ain't doing that. And the majority of people said I should get it detailed first, which is what we are going to do. There's actually a mobile detail or one that'll come to you that is on the way right now so let's go meet him There was this one right here. Yeah, that, that, that right there deteriorated. That's gone just for water constantly getting on that. Want me to hold the camera, man? Oh, I got it, bro. All right here will be cool. <laughs> but yeah, I noticed it's, uh, dude, I have not not worn a tank top since I got here. Man, you are loving it. <laughs> you are loving it. Oh, I mean, yeah, you man. If you are in line, like when I roll by and yeah. I seen that camera, you're not mysterious to me Yeah. because you're part of my path. Right. Just stay open to his strategic way. And stay positive. Get yeah, a positive man, mindset. He, he, he looking out for you, man. So what are you thinking about these scratches, man? Are we pointing no return or what do you think? Well, this is by hand, so we're gonna create. I, I'm thinking we can bring them out. They wasn't where you couldn't fill them with your finger. I tell a lot of people when they um, get scratches, you know, if you could run your finger down the scratch and you can't see like you can feel the paint and so if you can't feel them it's a good chance they'll come out but i believe we're gonna bring it out so right now i'm just kind of testing it by hand you know so that i can know if i need to pull a wheel out or not so now i'm just gonna go ahead and wash it clay bar it so this is craig d Rowland, elegant mobile detail houston texas uh, 832-944-0238 give me a call man been doing this a long time i'm the man to call like guarantee you i haven't been doing this <laughs> since 1992 so My this man. thing has not changed this car has not changed a lot but i evolved with this i just didn't clean cars i evolved i learned about the paints i learned about what they were made of i learned what the leathers in each car is if it's canali if it's coach if it's american eagle whatever so you need to know these things about cars so hey give me a shout out if you're here in the houston area all over the world people have called me so i'm i'm, I'm willing my man all right, man. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, bro. I'm gonna check back in a little bit. Yep, gotcha. I don't know about you guys, but I've never had more confidence in any one man than I do that guy right there. If you haven't tuned in in a while, you know we are currently shredding. So I'm doing high protein meals, lower carb, especially for meal one, man. This one's pretty simple. Six ounces, 99% lean ground turkey, 140 grams of spinach, and two large eggs. Pretty quick, pretty simple. A little bit of hot sauce on here, we good. No such thing as too much hot sauce. Don't at me. Boom, and... Mm. I'm a god chef. Okay, so we ran into a problem with Amazon, man. Basically, Amazon will let you have your supplements on there. Once you hit a certain amount, they require like FDA registration and all this stuff to make sure your manufacturer isn't like poisoning people. So I just uploaded what I think is gonna make it work because they have been sitting on about 300 units of our Final Boss Pre in Rainbow Supernova flavor for like two weeks and we haven't been able to sell any of it. So fingers crossed that it goes through, man. It's available on the site, but like you gotta, if you're gonna succeed in retail nowadays, you have to be on Amazon. You have to. Even though you make less money, you gotta be on Amazon, man. You just gotta. So there's one piece of business advice I can give any of y'all out there. Get your stuff on Amazon. That's it. That's it. I love peanut butter. Mm. He's been detailing my car for about an hour. Let's check on him and see how he's doing. $1,000. 
one word, capital P, pro, Professional. Wow, I'll never trust anybody else in my vehicles again. This guy knows whips like Ank knows the female anatomy, inside and out. So I've had this massive problem ever since I moved here, and I really think this is going to solve it. Hear me out. I had Sprint service basically a whole lot. I used to work for Sprint, man. I was that guy at Sprint. In my city, when you mentioned Sprint, the name Remington would echo through the chambers. Some of my customers even got Remington tramp stamps. I was that guy. I've been loyal and faithful for years. But when I moved down here, man, my phone does not work at all. When I leave this complex and Wi-Fi, I can't use it. I would leave the complex and I would try to find my way around the places using GPS and nothing would work, man. I was lost. I was more lost than a lab rat in a cheese maze with no cheese. How are you supposed to get out then? So this should solve my problem. Let's see. <gasps> it's an iPhone 11 Pro Max. Holy Christopher Robin. I am pretty pumped to give this thing a shot, man. Mainly for me, the big things with the iPhone 11 Pro Max was that I wanted the camera, man. It's got like these three crazy cameras on it. It's supposed to be really good. And you can also do like 4K video. So if I don't have my camera with me, I need to do something quick for like YouTube. I can grab it, maybe a little more stealthy, you know what I mean? So I probably would not have gotten it unless my service didn't work good. But when you're switching, you get a deal. I love deals, so I took advantage. The one downside to this though that I think is that I have an iPhone 10 right now. And look at the size difference, man. I think I'm gonna miss just having it in one hand and doing stuff, whereas this one's like, I mean, you know, she's a big one. So I wanna ask you guys right now, are you team iPhone or are you team Android? Personally, I'm team iPhone. I mean, I'm so invested in the app store with everything, I, I, I just couldn't switch. I just can't do it. I have a copy of Prototype 7 on my iTunes music that I just can't give up. I can't switch phones and give that up. And I'm not rebuying it. But shout, whatever phone you have, man, shout out to you anyways, man. Android, iPhone, it's all the same stuff. It, it all. It it all at the end of the day does the same thing for real. It's kind of like when people say like he's got a better car than this person. At the end of the day, they're both getting you from point A to point B. One might not have air conditioning, but hey, you still got there, didn't you? We're gonna activate you later when we have more time. I ain't got time to do that right now. We gotta transfer and do all that iCloudy stuff. You know how it is. I'm gonna show you guys something really dope about here, right? See this? I got a package, right? Basically, when you get a package delivered here, let, let me just show you. This is super dope. Boom. All right, guys, check this room out, man. So you see how there's all these lockers everywhere, right? Like literally, this is just lockers, lockers, lockers. The way it works is they send you that email on your phone, and then you come over to this keypad and you punch in the number they send you, and then your locker opens up, and that's where your mail's at. Bingo. Hey, check it out, man. No more stolen packages, baby. Boom. Remember what I said about Amazon earlier? You gotta be on Amazon or else you're slipping, man. All right, what we got here is some more stuff to keep pimping out the pad. I got Gorilla Grip toilet rugs. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm sharing this with you. Let me open that so you can read it. Gorilla Grip, or what I refer to as when my hand is wrapped around the remote and my girlfriend wants to watch something else. You ain't taking it. <laughs> So yeah, man, basically we're getting all this stuff from my apartment to get it like, you know, livable. Basically, you're gonna stand on this when you take a pee and it's gonna be soft on your feet. Everybody wins. So two of them for both bathrooms. And then this company has been a game changer. Their customer service is incredible, by the way. If you want cheap, good looking furniture, you gotta put it together, but it's worth it. These guys have been top notch. We got What's in here? This is a shower curtain, finally. Let's get this set up. I was going for like a white theme. I feel like white looks super clean. My last house was real dark. Everything was like dark browns and stuff. So I wanted to keep everything vibrant. Whoa. Well, we got a Halloween costume, worst case. Ghost costume. Don't get any weird ideas. Hmm. Nice. All right, tuck that right up in there. 
Yes! Only one word describes this and that's fancy. Check out the tassel detail. <laughs> Look at that, man. I know what you're thinking. It's a little feminine, but boys, hear me out. This ain't for us. This is for our unexpected guests that come over. They see a shower curtain like this. They know we keep things clean. They know we're classy. They know we're paying on the first date. They know after we're done here, we're gonna at least get them an Uber home. We're like that. We're good guys. And then it matches the white rug. So yeah. Dope, man, we're putting it all together one item at a time. The one thing that is gonna set off this entire setup to go along with my whiskey-fueled gaming chair that I have right here. Such a fine piece of machinery like this requires a pit stop. You can't run this thing 100% blast without stopping in to get the tires rotated, I tell you. An exquisite piece of merchandise like this needs to be well-oiled and well-lubed. And with that, we have finally gotten in our gaming desk. This thing is a monster. This thing is massive. This thing is gonna be responsible for hours upon hours of content creation. So you know what? I need to quit procrastinating and we got to put this thing together. Let's go. Why do the instructions always look like they're written in Chinese every time? Definitely made some progress. I got a little bit more to go, but I need to go hit the gym because I'm meeting Ank. Check it out. Stands are set up. I screwed this together. That might actually be upside down because these directions. I mean, is anybody good at reading these? I don't even think we should take shop class in high school anymore. Teach us how to read these and we're all going to be set, man. Dang. I'll have to finish this later, but now gym time. Let's go. So my car is officially finished and from the from outside perspective, right? Cause Ank saw it when it was at its worst. I want you to be honest, 100% with me. What did that do? Were the people in the comment section saying I should detail it, were they right? Dude, I, he got about 99% of it out. I mean, the only part, which I figured, cause this is like that weird mat. Yeah, it's like plastic. But dude, I remember that real bad swirl you had right here. That's all gone. I was even looking up there without climbing on your stuff, but I mean, better than taking you to a body shop. Right. It only cost me two twenty-five. dollars Yeah, you probably spend double that at a body shop. I mean, I was, I was fairly impressed. Dude knew what he was doing. He's actually doing mine. I saw him doing it today, so he's going to be here in like 30 minutes. Take care of mine. Get the old caddy. Yeah, so I was, yeah, I was impressed for sure. Shout out to Elegant Mobile Detailing. I will leave his info in the description box. If you need a good detailer, we'll put him down there for you. Even better, didn't he have to move it out of the spot? I, dude, he came to me? Yeah. He came to me? He killed it too. He's out here sweating his ass off. Yeah, dude, real good. Shout out, brother. Thank you guys for watching the video. As you can see, we got the desk put together. It was a little trickier than I thought, but we got it, man. This is all coming together so nice. The next thing I ordered that should be in is stands for these. That way I can get these off the table and kind of add to the overall vibe, man. And on another note, iPhone 11 Pro Max is officially set up. Man, I didn't realize how easy they made these to set up. You literally just beam your stuff from one phone to the other. It's like I didn't even change phones. I love it. So far, everything in Houston is great, man. To give you guys an update, I have been here for about eight and a half days and I really do love it, man. The weather is perfect. The people down here are so friendly. Southern hospitality is a real thing. Everybody I meet just seems to be in a good mood. Nothing but good vibes and shout out to that detailer man my car is squeaky clean inside now can't even tell i think she's in better shape now than she was before we left so yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you are not subscribed and if you have a comment leave it down below because it all helps baby i appreciate you guys as always and i think the next video we might actually do something in the new kitchen now that we are set up so if you have anything specific you want to see comment that below as well meal plans online coaching bring me to jamesfitness.com let's get shredded for winter give your 
your family the best gift this holiday season. Show up shredded. Until next time, guys, peace.